welcome to the video welcome to the channel we're back down at the pond as you can see there goes a wild turkey and one two three four five six six little wild turkey chicks sitting there the whole time that's wild anywho on the previous video we came through here started clearing out a path with the ford 555 and it was a mess under there if you want to check it out check out the previous video i'll put a link in the description and we dug a test hole here making sure we could get deep enough without hitting any bedrock or any rock shelf since we're kind of sitting on a big long hill and down here in indiana limestone shelves are pretty common in fact they're all around us maybe i'll show you some later if you want to check them out but today we're continuing that project we're going to start off with taking the 555 and the loader and doing a good old-fashioned load and carry with what we're calling topsoil it's just all the rotten stuff from what was left in there and some topsoil from the forest floor we're going to load and carry that out of here and get that cleaned up a little bit better and then we're going to remove some trees over here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve but we're going to cut up and get stacked up there so they're ready for the firewood processor and the tops over there on the burn pile so they're ready to burn the whole goal of this project what we've been trying to do is clear out an area and get it ready because it's going to be a borrow pit sometime later this summer or later this fall when we can rent some larger equipment from dirt perfect and we can truck all this out to a big fill site in front of the house that's the goal anyway all right step one is going to be getting rid of the deflated pizza slice i said i'd do it last time i forgot there it is witnessed. Need to add a little bit to the power steering. You can just put whatever you want in the pump. It doesn't really matter because it just seeps out that cylinder anywho. Good thing we didn't just spend a bunch of time rebuilding the whole power steering system, huh? That would be something. It's about 4 o'clock right now. Been doing a lot of evening work. Because I'm trying to get caught up on stuff before we take off out of the country. Oh yeah, plenty of it. And by plenty of it, I mean there's some in there. And then we'll just, should we just store it in here? She loves it, bud. A little of that there, a little pressure. about got the top of the pile moved out which is the goal to get a big flat working area for when we bring these trees down we got a few logs that are popping up see if we can't pick those out with the 755 real quick popped up a couple rotten stumps from the bottom of the pile. Anytime you have those logs like that, especially with a smooth face cutting edge, it just kind of skips over it. following morning girls came down around 6 30 last night and told me mama had t-bone steak mashed potatoes and gravy and Velveeta shells and cheese ready so i wanted to keep working later that evening but i couldn't pass that up i'm gonna take the road drag and finish slicking this up just a little bit more the whole reason i'm doing that even though this is all gonna get dug out in the future 
I'm trying to fill these ruts in so that once we drop these trees and we're using the little tractor to kind of fork stuff and move stuff around, we don't have these ruts catching the wheels. Good way to break a tie rod in or something like that whenever you're trying to push through ruts. Looks like we got one more big log. Keep saying one more and we keep finding more. We got this log right here. Let's see if we can get that pulled out with the backhoe. We just about got this carried across and out of the way. give us plenty of room to work so basically imagine this edge where we're going straight through there where this leaning maple is right there that over those are all coming out I've got the 30 inch bucket on the backhoe but because these are pretty small I don't think it'll be too much of a problem find out if it does we'll switch over to the 12 inch bucket the problem with using a wider bucket to dig big root wads out one, it's just more that you have to cut through, and two, whenever you're putting pressure on the corner of your bucket and just the corner of the bucket, digging those stumps out, that puts, you know, it's like a big, big lever, just puts a lot of extra pressure on your pins. So a narrow bucket isn't as hard on the pins, and you get through the roots just a little bit easier. I do have that old bucket from a subscriber named Roger, who uh, gave me an older bucket that we're going to convert to a stump bucket, it's just not done yet. The way the sun's coming across the back window, I can't see anything out of it. Pretty bad glare. See if we can get this thing to hinge open. Fair I'd stop and check and make sure the hinges are actually intact before we swing her though. It's something you gotta check on a machine like this. Alright, fingers crossed she doesn't fall apart here. Got this fancy leader. Okay. definitely see better and uh, not latching though we got to give that latch a few taps Let's see here looking for a hammer of some sort here we go nice I can't get that latch to break loose I don't really feel like messing with it good news is I've been storing a bungee cord up here Like it was made for it. Okie dokie.
good old southern Indiana, this is what we'd look for, what we'd want to be able to get a septic permit, this material here. I love this stuff. Shame I'm not needing to put a septic in, because that's, that's pretty awesome. Most of this hillside is clay, but every now and then, but every now and then you get pockets of stuff like this. And the other good news is uh, I've always found when clearing trees in this material, it doesn't hold the roots as well, so it's a lot easier to get these things to push over. But most of these trees, we're going to try to kind of get them broken loose, shove them, and steer them into that hole so I can clean them up. Love it when a plan comes together. That's gonna be the, the new burn pile, by the way. The other one's getting, I can't get stuff on top. It's getting wider, which makes it harder to burn. So we're starting a new one for all these tops right there at the end. I'll take that bucket. We'll kind of keep pushing our way back in there. Keep bringing them down. Mark's telling the story, but these two fellers are giving me quite the trouble. My assumption is they have a tap root. The maples, they just kind of spread out, so they fall right off of this stuff. But the ones with the tap roots make it a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and push that maple over, try to get it past, and that'll give me some access to the back side of that root wad, and I can get on the back side and push it a little bit harder. I'm going to need you guys to move the saw if it comes the wrong direction, all right? You're responsible for the saw now. Now it's it's gonna hit the saw. It, this is right where it's gonna go. She's gonna bounce off that one and then that maple, that curved maple. She's gonna bounce right off the side of that and then see where that curved maple goes across. It's gonna catch that canopy. I'm still gonna put you guys here though. I'm just I'm not risking the saw. Just you guys. Man, I'm glad I moved the saw. Okay. You guys get that message? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 10 4, I got her. <laughs> Are we gonna get these logs carried out? If they're big enough and clean enough, we're gonna save them for the firewood processor. And I've had people comment that sometimes I'm wasting wood that could be used for firewood, like that section right there. And I hear you, and if I heated with firewood and used a ton of firewood, I would save every bit. But honestly, when you have a firewood processor, I pretty much only save the things I can run through the processor. It's just, it's a little lazy of me, but it's what I do. We'll get that stump broken off, these logs packed out. 
Then we'll try to get that mess there cleaned up. I got into a little bit of dirt and I was cutting that stump. Now this chain's dull, I need to sharpen it. Let's just do one more cut. When your cuts start looking like that, yeah, it's time to sharpen it. She's a little closer to the ground anyway. We'll just cut her off there and get the rest when we get the rest. Hopefully that other tree out of the way, we can get on the back side of this dug out a little bit easier. Get this one out of the way. definitely loose now of course she's caught up on that broken one and she's caught up on that one too but we'll get her down here it won't take too much more a little bit of cleanup normally if I had an excavator I'd grab that stump pull it and just drag the tree out of there and put it where I want it I don't know if I have enough power with this to do that though we'll try it see if I can't get on the back side and pull that stump up out of there
All right, we'll see if we can't get this broken one out next. It's kind of nice we got the whole tree because you got the whole tree acting like a lever to get the root wad out. May have to do a little extra digging on this one. Down to these four right here, really shaping up nice. And I like the way it's fitting into the hill. But you can see, oh, you see this by the red kayak right there? Take those four out, and it's just gonna come right on around and kind of match up with that bank on that side. I don't know if you know some fishing in the background, that's my brother. I'm uh, the youngest of five. He's the oldest out of the five. Brought his granddaughter out, and then my daughter went down and joined him fish a little bit too. But you might notice the parking spot we cleared out there so people to come down and fish worked great. He just pulled his truck right in there and he was ready to go. Didn't have any base rock down yet, but it's been dry enough. Hasn't been an issue. And then I provided some beautiful background noise while they fish. You know, who doesn't want to hear a 201? I mean, it's just, it's a peach. It's just the most beautiful, relaxing sound. It's the mosquitoes out of here. Mosquito free. That's what I say. But I wanted to wait until he left because both of those are leaning that way quite a bit. Now I think I can still get him to push the direction I want. But on the off chance I was wrong, I didn't want to. That's the first time I've ever tried the extend -a hoe on this machine because I was terrified it would be stuck and the line would blow. But I needed it and it works. Isn't that magical?
You guys want to see what luck looks like? I'm going to show you what luck looks like. That is not... I wanted it over there. See the chainsaw? See the tree? See the tractor? That's okay. I'll take a little bit of luck every now and then to get me by. Nothing wrong with that. Hope we didn't scratch it. Okay. Let's get her cleaned up. Since all that weight is off of it now, and it's got so much of that clay stuck to the bottom, it keeps wanting to flip up, which isn't a huge deal, because we can still get it out. But it, while it's sitting like that, I'm gonna take the bucket and get a bunch of that clay off the bottom so it's easier for me to get out. bucket there to keep her from moving too much on me. Clean some of that dirt off. That's gonna ruin the chain, but that's alright. We'll resharpen her, get that cut off, see if we can't get her pulled out. Last tree of the evening. It's got a little bit of high cure. But I think we'll be able to lay her down okay. Let's polish it up with just a little bit of road drag. Not too bad. Looks like a dang interstate cut going through there. Now, next step will be that uphill side. Get that all cleaned off and go ahead and taper that slope. We'll maintain that somewhat level flat spot there. All this stuff will go and then we'll taper a slope down to where the road's at, which is right through that treetop. I gotta clean that up yet. That'll be the long term, I should say that'll be the middle term picture. I don't know, as far as when that big fill project happens, that's all whenever I have enough money. That's gonna be a very expensive and a very big project. So in the meantime, we're gonna get her all slicked off, seed and straw and leave it be and maintain it. Keep everything looking sharp down here and then it'll be a flat spot. So uh, you know, we wanna camp or hang out or whatever down here. And then whenever we get the funds to do the big fill project, 
we're pretty much ready to go. So that'll be exciting. I would, my guess is the next video weather dependent will be either on this or on my brothers, one of the two. And there won't be whatever today is, the following day, we'll be missing a video. Because at this point in time, we're probably, tomorrow, we're uh, flying out heading over to Europe for a few days. So that'll be fun and fancy. I'm sure there's some stuff I can mess up over there. Ought to be a good time.